Ambiorix was, together with Catavolcus, prince of the Eburons, leader of a Belgic tribe of northeastern Gaul, where modern Belgium is located. In the 19th century Ambiorix became a Belgian national hero because of his resistance against Julius Caesar, as written in Caesar's commentary de Bello Gallico. Early history, in 57 BC Julius Caesar conquered parts of Gaul and also Belgica. There were several tribes in the country who fought against each other frequently. The Eburons were ruled by Ambiorix and Catiavolcus. In 54 BC Caesar's troops urgently needed more food and so the local tribes were forced to give up part of their harvest, which had not been good that year. Understandably the starving Eburons were reluctant to do so and Caesar ordered the camps be built near the Eburons' villages. Each centurion was ordered to make sure the food supplies were delivered to the Roman soldiers. This created resentment among the Eburons. Although Julius Caesar had freed him from paying tribute to the Atuatusai, Ambiorix joined Catiavolcus in the winter of 54 BC in an uprising against the Roman forces under Cutiturius Sabinus and L. Orunculius Cotta, resisting the Romans. Because a drought had disrupted his grain supply, Caesar was forced to winter his legions among the rebellious Belgic tribes. Roman troops led by Cutiturius Sabinus and L. Orunculius Cotta were wintering among the Aburons when they were attacked by them, led by Ambiorix and Catavolcus. Ambiorix deceived the Romans, telling them the attack was made without his consent, and further advised them to flee as a large Germanic force was preparing to cross the Rhine. Trusting Ambiorix, Sabinus and Cotta's troops left the next morning. A short distance from their camp, the Roman troops were ambushed by the Eburons and massacred. Elsewhere, another Roman force under Cutullius Cicero, brother of the orator Marcus, were wintering amongst the Nerva. Leading a coalition of rebellious Belgic tribes, Ambiorix surrounded Cicero's camp. After a long while, a Roman messenger was finally able to slip through the Belgic lines and get word of the uprising to Caesar. Mobilizing his legions, Caesar immediately marched to Cicero's aid. As they approached the besieged Roman camp, the Belgi moved to engage Caesar's troops. Vastly outnumbered, Caesar ordered his troops to appear confused and frightened, and they successfully lured the Belgi to attack them on ground favorable to the Romans. Caesar's forces launched a fierce counterattack, and soon put the Belgi to flight. Later, Caesar's troops entered Cicero's camp to find most of the men wounded. Meanwhile, Indusio Marus, a leader of the Treveri, began to harass the camp of Labiens on a daily basis, eventually provoking Labiens to send out his cavalry with specific orders to kill Indusio Marus. They did so, and routed the remnants of the late Indusio Marus's army. Caesar personally remained in Gaul for the remainder of winter due to the renewed Gallic threat. Caesar's revenge, when the Roman Senate heard what had happened, Caesar swore to put down all the Belgic tribes. Ambiorix had killed a whole Roman legion and five cohorts. A Belgic attack on Q. Tullius Cicero, then stationed with a legion in the territory of the Nerva, failed due to the timely appearance of Caesar. The Roman campaigns against the Belgi took a few years, but eventually the tribes were slaughtered or driven out and their fields burned. The Eburons disappeared from history after this genocidal event. According to the writer Florus, Ambiorix and his men succeeded in crossing the Rhine and disappeared without a trace. Legacy Caesar wrote about Ambiorix in his commentary about his battles against the Gauls, De Bello Gallico. In this text he also wrote the famous line, of these, three regions, the Belgi are the bravest. Ambiorix remained a relatively obscure figure until the 19th century. When Belgium became independent in 1830 the national government started searching through their historical archives for people who could serve as national heroes. In Caesar's De Bello Gallico they discovered Ambiorix and his deeds. In 1841 the Belgian poet Johannes Nolet de Brouwe van Steeland wrote a lyrical epic about Ambiorix and on September 5, 1866 a statue of Ambiorix was erected on the main market square in Tongeren, Belgium, referred to by Caesar as Agiatuca, that is Agiatuca Tungrorum. Today, Ambiorix is one of the most famous characters in Belgian history. Many companies, bars and fteries have named themselves after him, 
and in many Belgian comics such as Susken Whisk and Jamaki plays a guest role. There was also a short-lived comic called Ambionix, which featured a scientist teleporting a Belgic chief, loosely based on Ambiorix, to modern-day Belgium. In the French comic Asterix, in the album Asterix in Belgium, Asterix, Obelix, Dogmatiques and Vital Statistics go to Belgium because they are angry with Caesar about his remark that the Belgians are the bravest of all the Gauls. References equals Other sources equals, Caesar, De Bello Gallico v. 26-51, by 29-43, 24. Dio Cassius XL. 7 to 11. Floracy. 10. External links Ambiorix, 